Hi there. So we're tasting one of Spain's most highly regarded white wines right now. This is the Pazzo Ceneran uh, Albarino from the Reyes Baxis area. So Reyes Baxis, first of all, is in the northwest corner of Spain, that Galathea area. So it's influenced very heavily by the Atlantic, which is right on its doorstep, obviously. So you get that sort of warm sort of humid Atlantic air coming in which is not a good thing for grape growing typically but the Albarino grape variety in this particular part of Spain thrives there and it does so by a combination of viticulture and good wine making typically so the key thing first of all is in those hot humid climates like the Galathea area uh, is to have air flow through your grapes which to remove the air, stops rot setting in. And how they do that is through a special uh, format of vine training called a pergola. So you've maybe seen pergolas through other forms of um, horticulture and that, but pergolas essentially, instead of a, a, a normal row of vines and you sort of walk along and pick them, pergolas are on very high trellised sort of overhead formats of uh, vine training. Uh, and what that does, it elevates them more away from the ground and that lets the air flow come through and keeps all that sort of moist air away from them and hoping, hoping to avoid rot and things like that, which has worked out very successfully for uh, the Galathea area, er, Galathea area. So Albarinos have become very fashionable, very trendy over the last number of years and Pazzo Ceneran are one of the sort of four, uh, at the forefront of that sort of uh, revolution I suppose. Making wines now for approximately 30 years and they're seen as one of the absolute leaders in that Galathea uh, Reyes Baxis area and indeed throughout Spain they're highly regarded as one of the best wineries in Spain. So the, the wines themselves, the grapes are all hand harvested. The pergolas are very difficult things to sort of operate and harvest. Uh, and you can imagine how difficult it must be sort of to hand harvest all those grapes above your head. Um, it's sort of, it's really tough on the body. The grapes are all then sorted in the winery and the, the wines, the grapes are all pressed uh, and into stainless steel tank for fermentation. Absolutely no oak on these wines. They do see a bit of lees treatment, a bit of sort of time on lees to build a bit of complexity. But the climate, climatic conditions, um, and combined with the granite soils, there's a lot of granite in that part of Spain, and that sort of develops and comes into the actual grape variety, uh, grape as you see it in the end wine. So you get that minerality. So color-wise in these wines, they're never... Uh, water white they always have a little bit of sort of depth to them and that's probably skin contact and a bit of um, lees contact as well in this case um, always a little bit weighty they're never the lightest of things um, so there's a bit of texture to them often quite peachy stone fruited this one here now um, for me was more initially straight into the melon sort of characters like cantaloupe melon and then behind that you get this nice like waxy lemon sort of character to it you get this little floral aroma coming through hence is orange in there too you know it's a i find this to be quite a precise wine um the notes are all quite distinct i suppose in in the nose You get that characteristic weight straight away with the albarino bit of texture. You get lovely, lovely fresh acids, all really nice natural acids in that part of Spain. Mouth pucker and mouth water, but cleans out and you get that lovely stony mineral finish. They're great wines for drinking young. You, typically you don't age albarinos, but there are certain versions which see uh, some barrel fermentation, and barrel treatment, which can be fantastic, quite complex and can last a bit of time in barrel, but in bottle, sorry. But um, typically you'll want to drink them within maybe five years of harvest to get them at their best, I suppose. Three to five years of harvest. So fish, sushi, salads, this are with these wines suit the best. Super, super bottles of wine, really, really enjoyable. High uh, demand right now nowadays for Albarino, particularly from that Reyes Baxis area. And Pazzo Ceneran is one of the sort of leaders in that sort of area. So 
if you're not sure about Albarino you've never tried it or want to try it, these would be a benchmark sort of producer to try. We do have some others on our website as well, of course, and give them a go. Martin Kodak's is really good as well. Or below is really good, entry level one too. Lovely alternatives to your Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnays, and set, etc. If you want to expand your TSP and try something a little bit different. So there you go, Pazzo Centeron uh, Albarino from the 2017 vintage. Remember, kwmy.com, place for taste matters. Cheers.